Hi, this is Travis with POSGuys.com. Today we're covering RFID scanning basics. This will cover the scanning of RFID barcodes. We'll do a separate video for printing RFID barcodes. So what you'll need is RFID tags and an RFID reader. Here I have a Datalogic Bluetooth reader. This uh, is about the size of a large key fab and it pairs via Bluetooth. They have RFID readers that are built into a regular barcode scanner. They also have mobile computers with RFID antennas built into them. Uh, that'll function in a similar way. How they input to the computer is via keyboard entry. So wherever the cursor is in the screen is where the RFID reader will scan to. Uh, I have Windows open right now and this is just Notepad. And as you can see, if I take a scan of a single RFID barcode, it writes to the screen. The benefit of RFID is that you have multiple tags all in a similar proximity and you try and scan, then it gets them all in a single pass. So if you're recording multiple serial numbers, you can get all the serial numbers in one shot. The downfall of that is gonna be um, how accurately you can scan. If you have two scanners, two tags that are relatively close and you're trying to get a single one, uh, you might scan both if you're not careful. So overall, RFID is really good when you don't want to touch the product. So if you're working in botanicals, you have a very sensitive like flower or plant and you want to hang a tag on it, but then you don't want to actually touch it in order to scan it, uh, then you can use RFID so you can get close and you can scan. You don't have to position the scanner to read a barcode like you would a traditional barcode reader. So using RFID, you can use it just like you can barcodes. I have the scan in, scan out software here. I have uh, an item in the database for the particular RFID tag. Uh, and then if I scan it, it scans out of inventory just like it would using a barcode. If I scan it again, then it scans in. So it works just the same way as a barcode where instead of scanning it though, you uh, basically take a read with the RFID reader. The RFID tags are all gonna look pretty similar. They're kind of a coil of wires. There's one, there's another. Some of the tags are designed to be printed on, so you can get the RFID part pre-encoded and then you just print on each one of the tags as it comes through. So if you're gonna be doing like a product uh, price label, then you could print the same barcode on every single one. Uh, other tags are kind of clear, translucent. So this is more of a security tag that you'd put inside of packaging uh, rather than something that you'd print on. Pairing with Android, iOS, or Windows is pretty straightforward. You pair it the same way you would do most uh, Bluetooth devices. I have a Datalogic Joya unit. This is an Android mobile computer. I'm gonna pair their uh, Bluetooth RFID reader with it. So to pair the device, you turn it on. You turn on Bluetooth on your mobile device. It'll detect it. You'll see that DLR VT001. That's the device there. You click on pair and it'll attempt to pair. Once paired, the Bluetooth indicator on the DLR will turn bright blue. So we'll give it a sec to pair. And there you go, you can see that it's paired. The Bluetooth is bright blue. Now it's a wedge device on the Android mobile computer. If we go into a browser, this is the POS Guys website, and we go to scan a tag, it now writes to the Android mobile computer. The same way that it sent the data to the cursor in Windows, it sends it to the cursor in Android. iOS would work the same way. Overall, RFID readers start at over $300 and they go up from there depending on how powerful the reader is and if it's kind of built into a sled shape for you to attach a cell phone or a mobile computer or if they're just kind of a standalone, kind of a key fab looking one. Uh, for more information on RFID or to purchase, please visit us at posguys.com. Thanks.